Well, Candace, this is really an exciting update for the Fox community because it marks a step forward in preserving as much of this historic building as possible. And if you see this cupola here right behind me, that actually is what was holding up the fire investigation. And now that it's removed from the building, the fire department can continue investigating. A group of Fox fathers reclaiming PTA picnic tables. What might seem like a simple task actually represents significant progress. It's a big step. Because at the same time these dads tackle their mission, Richmond Public Schools begins a much larger operation. Nearly three months after a fire destroyed William Fox Elementary, efforts are now underway to stabilize the building. There's certainly been some you know, anxiety here in the neighborhood just because for so long they haven't been able to make any progress on, on doing demo stuff. In the weeks following the blaze, parents told the CBS 6 problem solvers they were frustrated by a perceived lack of urgency to preserve the century-old school as it remained uncovered and exposed to the elements. RPS said it wanted to submit stabilization permits to the city by March 31st, but the complete application wasn't received until April 19th and then approved so the the work that you see here can start. I'm very happy, um, happy that it came out safe. Michael Bourne coordinates risk management for RPS. He says the first step in making sure this structure is secure, removing the cupola, which fell from the roof to the second floor during the fire. Because we don't know what the weight of it is, you know, so we didn't want anything to happen and it could have collapsed. With the cupola now on the ground, it clears the way for the fire department and insurance company to resume investigations into what sparked the flames that night on February 11th. It's going to be a big relief to get back to some kind of normalcy. Moving forward, Josh Bennett focuses on transitioning his kids to Clark Springs, even though JoJo doesn't seem too thrilled about it. Are you excited to go to a new school? No. No? Oh, no. Now, Bennett says he is excited that parents are going to be able to actually see Clark Springs for the first time this weekend at the Strawberry Street Festival. And you are probably going to see construction like this and crews out here in the coming days between 7 a.m. and 11 p.m.